A crucial step in setting up your website is connecting the opt-in forms on your website to your email marketing service. We are continuing how to build a business website in a weekend with lesson 10, connecting your email provider and opt-in form. In this lesson, you'll learn how to connect your email marketing service to your email opt-in forms. So we will be using MailChimp as our email marketing service, but the setup process is more or less the same no matter which email service you choose. So we're going to start with walking through the experience of the signup process to be on someone's email list from the perspective of a website visitor, and then we will integrate an email service with Thrive, and then we will connect an email opt-in form to an email marketing service. Let's start by taking a look at what we are going to build. We built the homepage in a previous lesson, and in this lesson, we're going to focus on the email opt-in form. Now I'm going to assume that you want to build your email list as quickly as possible. So one strategy you can use is offering a lead magnet to entice people to sign up. Since we're focusing on rapid implementation, I recommend not spending more than a few hours creating your lead magnet. Some ideas for quick lead magnets are checklists, quick guides, and cheat sheets. Just make sure that whatever you offer is valuable and helpful to your audience. And I'll walk you through one way to create a lead magnet quickly in just a moment. So let's put in a name and email address. And now let's click sign up. All right, so that will take us to a thank you page. And if we click the download button, that brings us to our lead magnet. Now, after someone submits the opt-in form, they will be taken to the confirmation or thank you page, but it's also common to send your new subscriber an email welcoming them to your community. And if you have a lead magnet, provide a download link in that email. Now this is completely automated and you can set this up in your email marketing service. Next, let's quickly create a lead magnet using Canva. So Canva is really handy because they have templates in many different formats and everything is pre-designed. So you really don't have to have any design skills. Now, as you can see, they have several different options here. They have presentations, social media, video, etc. For a lead magnet, I find the newsletter layouts to be very handy. So let's go to print products and then let's click the arrow. And newsletter. OK, so we'll click on that. And on the left side of the page, you can see several different categories of newsletters. You can simply scroll down until you find one that you like. This one looks pretty good. And this is a two page layout. So I'll click apply both pages. And so now to customize these elements, all you have to do is click and delete the sample text and then substitute in your own. If you need to make any adjustments, you can do that using the options at the top of the page. Now for things like pictures, you can actually upload images to your Canva account. So I'll go to uploads and then I'll click upload media and then I'll click device since they are currently on my local computer. And now I'll just select a few pictures. Once your images are finished uploading, you can substitute their images for yours. And you can do that by simply grabbing one of your images and dragging it over the image you want to substitute. So from here, you can go ahead and keep making customizations. When you are finished and you're ready to download, you can click the download button and you want to download a PDF print. However, as I mentioned earlier, you will have to sign up for Canva Pro to do that. And if you click this button, you'll be prompted to sign up and it'll say you can try it for free for 30 days. Now you'll have to host your lead magnet somewhere so that people can download it. If you're using MailChimp, you can simply use MailChimp. However, with different email marketing services, there may not be a place for you to upload your lead magnet. So in that case, you can use something like Amazon S3. But since we are using MailChimp, let's go ahead and upload our lead magnet. 
So you'll need to go to the content studio and then go to my files and then click upload. And then you can select your lead magnet. And once that is done uploading, we can move on to creating our email autoresponder. To create your email autoresponder in MailChimp, you'll need to go to campaigns and then go to create campaign. And we want to create an email and we want this to be automated because we want it to be automatically sent out as soon as somebody signs up for our email list. And then we want to welcome new subscribers and you can put in a campaign name. If you have multiple lists, you can select your specific list with this dropdown and then click begin. All right, so we do want to send to new subscribed contacts immediately after they join the list. So we'll just leave that as it is. You'll need to make sure that the from email address is correct. For the subject, you can put in a new subject line that's just a little more snappy. We'll just say, here's your guide. And then click save. And then you can edit the design of your email. All right, so if you have a logo, you can click this to upload it. Just click replace. And then you can upload your logo. That's a little bit large, so let's decrease that size. Next, let's customize the text of the email. This is code, and so this will personalize the email and automatically insert the first name of your subscriber if you collected first names in your opt-in form. Let's go ahead and customize this text. When you're finished, just click save and close. And then you can add a button that will link to your lead magnet. So let's simply drag a button into the correct spot. Let's update the button text. Under link to, you want to link to a file. And then you can select the lead magnet that you uploaded earlier and then click insert. When you're finished with your design, click save and continue. Okay, so when you are happy with all of these settings, you can go ahead and start sending. Next, let's create the thank you page or confirmation page that people will see after they submit the opt-in form. So under pages, go to add new. Let's give this page a name and let's launch Thrive Architect. So for this page, you can choose any of these options. I'm going to choose a pre-built landing page because I want to show you some of the templates that we have, especially for marketing funnels. But if you want to use the same page template that you have set up for pages like your about page and your contact page, then you can use a normal page if you like. So I'm going to choose a pre-built landing page. And each of these landing page sets has templates for specific types of pages that you might need for your business. So for example, let's go to the online course smart set. And this set has sales page templates, webinar templates, and upsell template. So using these landing page sets makes setting up marketing funnels very quick and easy to do. So for now, let's go back to the library and I'll go to the OMI theme. And I want a thank you page. And so I'll select that. And so as you can see, this page automatically updated to use my main brand color. Now, the most important part of this page is linking up this button to your lead magnet. So let's go ahead and do that. What we'll have to do first is get the link to the actual lead magnet. So for that, we'll have to go back into MailChimp. So in MailChimp, you'll need to go to the content studio and then go to my files and then go to your lead magnet. And then in the upper right hand corner, you can click the drop down and click copy URL. Now let's hop back on over to our confirmation page and let's click the button. Make sure that button is selected in the breadcrumbs and under animation and action, we want a link. So this already has a link, but it isn't specified. So I'll simply go to the pencil icon to edit that link. Now I'll paste in the link to the lead magnet. If you want, you can have it open in a new tab and then click apply. And now you can go ahead and customize the rest of this page. Before you can connect your opt-in form with your email marketing service, you'll have to integrate your email marketing service with Thrive. So let's go to the Thrive dashboard. And then let's scroll down to 
API Connections and then click Manage Connections. So Thrive integrates with several different email marketing services. Today we're going to be using MailChimp because that seems to be a fairly popular choice for beginners. So Thrive integrates with several email marketing services. Today we'll be using MailChimp because that seems to be a very popular one, especially for people who are just getting started. So just click Add New Connection and in the dropdown, just search for MailChimp. So now you'll have to get an API key and you can get this from MailChimp. So let's hop on over there. In MailChimp, you'll go down to the bottom left corner and then click account. And then you'll go to extras and API keys. So let's scroll down here and then click create a key. You'll see that a new key has been created. So then you can simply copy this and hop back on over to WordPress. And now you can simply paste in your API key. All right, and now we are ready to connect the opt-in form. Next, we can connect the opt-in form on our home page to our email marketing service. So we'll need to go to the Thrive dashboard and Thrive theme builder. Then we'll go to the templates tab and we're gonna look for the active home page and then we'll click edit landing page. So there's a couple things on this page that still need to be customized, but our priority right now is connecting this email opt-in form. So let's go ahead and click on that. Make sure that form is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then under main options, we'll click add connection. And then simply choose the email marketing service that you integrated earlier. Now, if you have multiple email lists, you can select one from this dropdown. If you have specific groups set up, you can choose a group for right now, we're just going to do single opt-in. If you want, you can tag your new subscribers. I'll go ahead and tag my new subscribers with the type of freebie that they decided to opt-in to receive. Now under after successful submission, you can specify what happens after someone submits the form. If you would like to show a success notification, you can simply do that, but we actually want to redirect people to a custom URL. And that is going to be the thank you page that we just created. So I'll simply start typing in the name of the page and that should pop up and you are done. It is just that easy to connect an email opt-in form. So now you can go ahead and finish customizing this page. Be sure to add a really great headline, something that attracts attention and entices people to sign up to get your lead magnet. All right, so now that your opt-in form is connected, let's move on to the next lesson.